I V M. Hey, if you enjoy listening to IVM Likes, you should check out the show called Cyrus Says. It's a show hosted by the funny man Cyrus Brocha, where he chats with people that come from various walks of life. He talks about politics, traffic, food, yeah, mostly food. And new episodes out every Monday and Thursdays on IVM Podcast website, IVM Podcast app, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey Abbas, welcome Hi. back from Ali. Hi Abbas. Thanks guys. It's been a while. It has. What is it like to sit among us plebs when you've been watching <laughs> movies? Yeah, I'm like, oh, these people again who won't get anything. Of course. Uh, God. God. <laughs> All of these references are going to be lost at us. I know. Yeah. Do either of you know who uh, Pavlovsky is? I know Paolo Coelho. <laughs> yeah, I know Paolo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that... Uh, oh, right. Uh, we've started our yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do now. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to another episode of IVM Likes, episode 95, which is five away from... Woohoo! So 100. Yeah. If yeah. you can do the math. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been absent on this show for two weeks, but not anymore. <laughs> My Maybe voice will not be suppressed anymore. I'm back and I'm back with a bang because I'm hosting today's show. So you will uh, listen a lot of me. Um, my name is Abbas and with me in the studio, I have Karthik. Hello. hello, hello. And I have Surbi. Hey. And Janam is away in Meghale, uh, holidaying away. Uh, yeah. We hope you have hmm. fun. Uh, I'm uh, missing Janam. her the most. Oh, why? Because she dumped all her shows <laughs> yeah. on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad, John. Uh, so anyway, IBM likes. If this is the first time you're listening to this, you have 94 more episodes to catch up. But mm. in a gist, it's a show where we recommend stuff. IBM staffers recommend pop culture that they have consumed in the recent past or even before, and they like, and they would like you to do the same. And in the second half, we take a topic and we try and talk about it, dissect it, uh, talk about it in detail. So today, that uh, section will be about pop culture feuds. Yeah, yeah. damn right. Yes, समझ में आया क्या? <laughs> uh, will we talk about our internal feuds in the office? No. No. Those are not oh, feuds. Yeah. 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 is pop culture. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about celebs and uh, other pop culture stuff that that has been at loggerheads. But before that, we'll uh, start with our recommendations. So, uh, Karthik, what are you recommending today? Okay. So, I'll be recommending an app. All right. So, it's for all snoozers. It's, the app is called Alami. Okay. So, Alami. Alami. Okay. A L A R Y. Why? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it basically wakes you up, like like it will wake you up, like by whatever means it it it's possible. So it has an option of like default the normal alarm tone. Yeah. Then the the one I like is they give you math problems. Oh my god! Yeah, you can't. In you the can't, morning. Yeah, oh in the morning. <laughs> But yeah. I'll just shut it and keep it. Back. You can't do that. That's a that's the whole catch. Like you can't reduce the volume. I think the con- in conclusion, you hate yourself. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 unless you don't solve the problem, yeah, it won't exactly. Stop. Stop. Yeah. stop. What? Yeah, yeah, it has multiplication, stop. division, basically. I you, hate can, you can you can choose a difficulty <laughs> level. <laughs> like uh, this is so, just harming yourself every yeah. morning. <laughs> Yeah, so this, I'm, I'm, this, a, I'm a I'm a big time snoozer. Like, right. So am I. Even even if I keep ten alarms, I'll mm-hmm. I'll wake up. On the first alarm, I'll switch off the rest of the alarms and right. I'll sleep. Yeah. So this is like this comes in handy, and the other option you have is like take a photo. So the app recommends you to like give poses and take photos, click photos. Oh, so I thought yeah, it's you like, have. It's like you'll take you a really bad photo of yourself in the morning and send it, <laughs> no. send it to someone you no. don't want Definitely to be not. sent to. No. Okay. Then another option that's very useful is the shake option. Okay. <laughs> no. What are you shaking the phone? Like a person comes out of the phone and shakes you up. No. No. Okay. You have to shake the phone. Oh. Like, I can do that and sleep. Yeah. No. You how can't. does how does that help waking you up? So you have to shake it for like forty to fifty times. My. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so like, like I tried reducing the volume, uh, everything. So one day, like I was really sleepy, so I switched off the phone. Hmm. So when I switched it on, the mm. phone was like, "You are cheating. It's not right. fair." The phone literally said oh this. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Can I set my phone on yeah. fire? <laughs> this is a nightmare. Uh, yeah. So the phone was like, "You are cheating. This is not the game that <laughs> that you signed up for." Are we new to this whole thing? Because I would thing? never do this to me. But you can switch off the phone, right? You can switch off the phone, uh-huh. but when it will you... make you realize. It will make you 
feel bad that you no. like you just lost the game. So what? you have to wake up in the morning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm ha- like I'm very competitive, so okay. <laughs> that that bothers yeah. me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody so, yeah, like, saying yeah, you're cheating. That, is... that to a phone. A that phone. to a phone telling me that you're cheating. This only bothers you, Karthik. <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Man, yeah. I'm like I'll lose. I'll sleep. <laughs> my, I, I'll uh, cuddle myself to sleep. <laughs> With the loss. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what other interesting things does it, does it have? Uh, so that's all. Like, it has a barcode, QR code. Okay. So I, I never, <laughs> I, n- I never tried that. Okay. <laughs> like go to like it might like it might include going to stuff and like <laughs> scanning the barcode. Maybe yeah. Uh, so it's available on both Android and uh, yeah, iOS. Yeah, I don't know about iOS. Okay. Like, I'm still a garib, so <laughs> let I me use... check it. Uh, oh god. <laughs> the Show app off. is <laughs> the app is called Alarmy. Yeah, Alarmy. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Al army okay yeah. it'll, it'll wake you up <laughs> in the morning all right that was uh, that was karthik's recommendation i don't know how this qualifies as pop culture but sure okay it's like you wake up and uh, consume pop culture yeah exactly uh, all right surbi what do you have to recommend okay i'm recommending this band called rilo kylie so i've been into this rilo kylie yeah okay, okay i think you would uh, remember it from that song that played right after the net that song right. called a better son slash right. daughter uh-huh. Okay, so I got into it because of that one song, okay. and that song also is like I feel like again that's something I want to recommend because that song starts off as a journey because mm-hmm. you start off with like how depression feels like how you feel like everything is pulling you down mm-hmm. and like you get on a call with your mom and you shout at her and everything is like basically it's a dark dark yeah. world and suddenly the song like in the middle of it it picks up. And uh, starts going to hey, but when you have a good day, you really have a good day, and you'll be a good listener. You'll be a better son and a daughter. So that was a song that basically it was my gateway drug to Rilo mm-hmm. Kali. And now I'm also this new album that I'm a big fan of is called The Execution of All Things. Yeah. Again, the better son slash daughter is a part of this album, but that whole album I recently figured is based on depression and how. And how it feels like basically a bunch of songs. Like one of the songs that is also a great in that album is called "The Good That Won't Come Out of Us." Okay. So yeah, I mean, um, like some of the, the music is really good. The lyrics are super. Like even though this, these songs were written like a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. they're still so relatable. Like they don't feel like you know out of touch. Because people are still depressed and no. they were yeah. before as well. That is true, but I don't know there's something about this very. I don't know. Like it's not they're not using big words okay. to like make you think about what this thing is. It's very like colloquial. Mm-hmm. Talk, but what's the like, what's the genre of music that they play? This is something I won't know. I feel okay. like I just like this album. Ex- experimental that much. rock, indie pop, indie pop, <laughs> indie, okay. indie okay. pop. Okay. I think, yeah. No, not country. Not country. Not country indie, but I think like it's like indie pop. pop. It's pop, yeah. but it's yeah. not mainstream. Made in. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's it? What's it? What's the album called? The band is called Ilo Kali. The album is called The Execution of All Things. And uh, like how how long is each song? Does it require a lot of no, concentration? No, it does okay. not at all. So I think every song is four to four minute or four and a half minute long, mm. and it's super. Again, I feel like once you're in that whole, like you can play the whole album at like because YouTube has like a whole thing right. of like a fifteen minute long album of like twelve songs. Okay, and you just keep playing it mm. in the morning. It's, okay. Yeah. So that's a, a good, that's a better way to wake up than solving yeah. A, yeah. solving a math problem. <laughs> Sorry yeah. guys. Yeah. All right. So Rilo Kylie is the band that will be uh, recommended, and uh, finally, it's time for me to recommend. I am uh, recommending. Right. <laughs> Abbas recommends twenty-seven movies in one go. All the movies he watched, Mommy. No, actually, yeah. I'm recommending a movie I didn't watch at Mommy. It's a film hey. I watched on Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime right now. So the film is called Professor Marston and the One. the women hmm. uh, so do either of you know who uh, william marston was oh uh, no no okay so william marston is the guy who invented the lie detector okay the, the the lie detector that we know but the lie detector was not the most famous invention of his his most famous invention was the character of wonder woman oh. he is also the creator of wonder woman okay oh. he, yeah he created this character in the 50s and if you remember wonder woman has the lasso of truth, truth. Yeah. yeah which is that if she uh, the uh, lie detector is basically yeah, yeah which is essentially a lie yeah. detector mm. so the film is a biographical uh, fiction account of based on the real life of William Marston so the interesting thing about William Marston is that he was a professor in the 50s but he was ahead of his time okay so he was 
um very interested with uh, human nature and human sexuality mm. so if you have been in any way been uh, interested about uh, sexuality monogamy mm. uh, gender roles mm-hmm. you should definitely watch this film because uh, william marston and his wife elizabeth they were married they were in a happy marriage but they weren't uh, monogamous okay. okay so the film picks up when uh, they actually uh, come across one of their student who's called Olive Burn and Professor Marston his wife Elizabeth and Olive they lived together mm. oh. in a non monogamous relationship so in the 50s this was like a big deal yeah. right so uh Professor Marston faced a lot of criticism because the comics that he wrote for Wonder Woman they were deemed as explicit because they had a lot of themes of bondage and uh, you know women who are you know not afraid of their sexuality yeah. they are expressing themselves so he was criticized a lot for feeding children explicit images and uh, these things and at the same time he was being criticized for not being in a monogamous relationship back in the 50s okay. so the film kind of takes you on this entire journey of how he sort of uh, battled through all of it mm. and uh, what happened eventually in the end so it's a very i would say it's a essentially a feel good film it's not a very heavy film mm-hmm. it tells you how someone who believes in something sticks with it and you know he battled for the ideas that he wanted and today we're still dealing with those ideas but we have kind of evolved a little yeah. more about that uh so in reality actually uh, the three of them actually lived he had kids with both the women and they actually yeah. lived happily it's i mean we never really uh, think of more th- a couple together living with another person in a happy marriage, happy marriage but yeah. he did and uh, that's what the film explores so check it out if if you've uh, you know question uh, about human uh, sexuality or gender or if even if you're uh mildly interested in comic book history this actually mm. traces how he came up with the idea of wonder woman how he pitched it to dc comics also back then being a comic book writer was not really a glamorous yeah. job people mm. used to really look down upon it mm. oh, so wow. he was being he was uh, you know sort of uh, criticized from all fronts but still he kept at it and uh, kept doing what he loved so check it out it's it's on uh, amazon it's called professor marston and the wonder woman Uh so yeah that's my that's recommendation. Really cool. Uh that Dude. was a movie I recommended Karthik you recommended the Alarmi app. The Alarmi app. Uh, app. Please okay. tell us if you if you use it and uh, it helps you wake up yeah. in the morning. It it will definitely uh help you with math. Yeah, yeah or you okay. you will either wake up or you'll go mad. So. Yeah. <laughs> and so be you recommended? I recommended the band Rilo Kali. All right so those were our recommendations in the second half we will talk about pop culture feuds so we will see you on the other side of this break hey everybody it's another awesome week on ivm podcast if you're not following us on social media please make sure you do we're ivm podcast on twitter facebook and instagram this week on cyrus says cyrus talks to journalist rachel lopez about her taxi ceiling art series and her own podcast wordy word pecker available only on the ivm network On Simplified, Chuck Narain and Shrikhar deconstruct the latest UN report on climate change and why the next two decades might be the most important for the Earth. On the latest special episode of Pesa Vesa, Anupam talks to Hansi Marhotra, an investment professional and owner of the financial blog TheMoneyHunts.com. On Shunya One, Sheila Ditty and I speak to Arpit Ratan, co-founder of Signzi, a fintech company that makes regulatory processes for bank and other financial institutions simple, secure, and compliant. On the Kinetic Living podcast, Coach Urmi talks to childhood buddy and actor Shikha Talsania. She elaborates on her fitness journey and how she balances work, diet, and the need to stay fit. And just a reminder, guys, please tell a friend. You need to tell a friend that you're listening to a podcast that you like and get them to listen to the podcast that you think they will like. And with that, let's take you on with your show. Welcome back. All three of us are still here. Uh, we haven't left anywhere. Yep, uh, we're right here. We're right here. Yeah. Don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Actually, have lots of things we're to do. But we work. made this show for you, <laughs> so we're going to stick with it. All right. So in this uh, particular section, we are going to talk about pop culture feuds, and how this topic came about is because Karthik uh, was talking in the mm-hmm. office about uh, the Emmy way of star. What Fuel. is what is Emmy Way and what yeah. are what is Rafta? I believe these two are rappers. Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what so what break down the mean? break like down the feud for us. Yeah. And so, uh, give us a brief hmm. background of who these two people are. So people know Rafta, I believe. Rafta yeah. is a famous, popular yeah. uh, indie rapper. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, it's a it's a rapper. Yeah, okay. he's a rapper. Uh, hmm. He's from North, like okay. the North side. Right. <laughs> he's a Malu. Yeah. What? Yeah, he's, he's a, a Malu from North. Yeah, he makes so Punjabi a... rap and he makes Hindi rap, but not Malayalam rap. No. 
So then why are you proud that he's a Mallu if he's not Like I I like the name like Dilian Nair like there's someone Nair in this house like there are there are some like at least there are Nairs in okay. this industry yeah So it's a Mallu from the north as if yeah, from Delhi like Delhi yeah B- Delhi, Delhi area yeah. who raps in Punjabi uh, Punjabi and I'm Hindi all, I'm already interested ha huh? yeah. so so uh, go uh-huh. on So anyway he's an independent artist so okay. he's a rapper Uh, he's an underground rapper in mumbai like from mumbai so okay. there's a lot of mumbai rappers coming up like mm-hmm. uh, yeah. beat divine beat nisi or right. uh, mm-hmm. mev mm-hmm. so uh, it started uh, so this uh, mev came up with a music album mm-hmm. okay samajh mein aaya kya so oh. he's basically dissing yeah so he's ah. basically dissing all these artists like rough, starting from raftar why Uh yeah so uh, oh, Rafta, who who else is it is uh, what did they do wrong so Rafta Divine and there's this one guy Easy. called MC Stan okay uh-huh. so uh, basically the Rafta thing was uh, in an interview Rafta said that uh, underground rappers like Emi Way they're not earning that much mm. okay because they have to like once they they get established they earning earn, as in financially yeah financially uh-huh. so so I don't know why this triggered him okay so uh, he came up with a rap ki uh, Like you are not paying for my videos. Okay. Like so, uh, initially they were like good friends. Okay. Like like every rap scene, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they start as good friends. Ooh, okay. And then they fall apart. Huh. So uh, so Raftar is more mainstream than Emi Way. Yeah. Right? Okay. So yeah. he's more into indie scenes. Emi Way is more into indie scenes. Okay. Yeah. Even okay. Raftar is into indie scenes, but okay. he's into Bollywood as well. All right. He never made Emi Way never was never into Bollywood. Bollywood. Okay. Got it. So um this samajh mein aaya kya song uh, this was a huge hit and it was a diss song okay. so he basically uh, it was not a like a complete like it was not up to his potential like the, up to his, anyways potential up to anyways okay. potential that's what i feel okay so uh, <laughs> no you're just bringing in your literary <laughs> okay, yeah, now, literary criticism yeah, <laughs> yeah. so okay like, who side are you on huh? anyway or raftar Uh okay so that stuff so I like Raftar Listen come on pick a side I would go for Raftar Yes yeah. so, which is why everything he says from this point of view will be color will be color <laughs> no, opinion No 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 I, I, who's I, I, doing I, it better yeah, Who's a who's a better rapper uh, Is it Raftar Uh it. yeah it's it's Raftar Oh god <laughs> <laughs> I like Why do you hate Emi Way man I don't I don't hate Emi Way so huh. he's an amazing artist so uh, I I still respect him and He was like he was literally like he belongs to a poor family and he came up. Like, so has yeah. Raftar now written a diss yeah. track in in return? Yeah, like yeah, exactly like after doing. four. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what they they were doing. So um, exactly after four days, I believe. Okay. He came up with an. And where are they releasing all this music? YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. On YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube and uh, so the title of the song is Shake Chili. Okay. So his name is Sharuk Sheikh. So uh, it's Amy Sheikh. Way's name. Yeah, Amy Way's name uh, is Sharuk okay. Sheikh. Sharuk Sheikh. So uh. it's <laughs> Sheikh Chilli, and and the rap is pr- like pretty normal. Like it's never of. It's not that offensive or okay. there were no curse words or uh, anything like uh. that. Anything of that. It's basically making him understand like why did I say that? Okay. Like why did I say that in the interview? Hmm. So I want you to become an artist. I consider you as my best brother. Oh, that's and uh, kind you of you have like you have like that's kind of uh, Raftar being the bigger person and being like I'm yeah. gonna write a rap song to explain yeah. it to you of what I actually meant. I don't think Raftar so. Raftar was being slow. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. And so now is Emi expected to write another track? He now? already wrote. Oh damn! Track and that oh. was <laughs> what is that? That about? was uh, so. The title of the song is Giraftar. Oh, snap. and it's what a time to be alive! Yeah. I can't believe it. And That's how you do puns, it. guys. That's how you do puns. Giraftar. Yeah, uh-huh. and he killed it. What What does he say in that song? So he took it to another level. He okay. became too personal with the song. Oh, damn! Yeah, like, so like, like how personal? So he was like, uh, they were supposed to release a song together. Okay. So it was called Sadak Remix. Okay. So Emiwe came up with a song hashtag #sadak wow. and uh, Raftar was like he like let's do a song together let's collab. This so, was before they had a fallout. Yeah. Huh. So it was like okay let's do it together. Huh. So it, it never happened. So Emiwe was like uh, you backed out from the whole thing. Like Raftar backed out from the whole thing. So people still ask me where's the remix. <laughs> they they came up they came, they came up with the Emiwe is just like dude I just people are asking me for that yeah, song. Yeah. I need an answer. Hmm. So That's oh the whole my thing, god! Yeah. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, that that was intense. What are your Abbas? Do you have yeah. any p- uh, cultural f- pop culture things <laughs> that you keep that you look up Everything to? Everything will now uh, will be dry in front of. Uh, I know with Sheik the Giraftar, Sheikh Chili, and Giraftar. 
um but i mean the moment i think of pop culture feuds the one the origin og feud that mm. uh, rap feud that st- stands out in my mind obviously is tupac and uh, yeah. Big notorious big noise um, noise yeah so i i think uh, Again, you know, it's like uh, I read a tweet. Some I don't remember who tweeted this, but someone was like, mm. uh, "Diss tracks are essentially two grown men writing poetry in a room <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for all the badass <laughs> things that we associate with it." But yeah, I mean, this one got so bad, right? I mean, both of them were were shot down, yeah. and uh, Ooh, yeah. uh, it, it gave the whole rise to the whole East Coast, East Coast versus West, West Coast. Coast. Mm. Um, so yeah, but it's it's. I mean, I. I kind of write uh, talk about this in my comedy as well about how I mean even their gangsters are like mm-hmm. multi-million selling mm-hmm. artists you know if they've yeah. made art out of the feud that they had and yeah. we got probably two or three of the greatest rap albums of all mm-hmm. time out of that mm-hmm. feud but it's it's kind of sad the way the way it ended I think we would a lot of great music was taken away because Tupac course. Tupac and B.I.G I think I mean B.I.G had just put out one album yeah. there's a great career in front mm-hmm. of him That's true. but yeah when I think of feuds pop culture feuds that's the one that instantly comes to my mind mm. my I feel like mm. what uh, I think the reason one that I particularly was attached to like I was looking I was looking for tweets and I was finding mm-hmm. out what's mm-hmm. happening mm-hmm. was the one with between Taylor Swift and Katy Perry okay. okay yeah I don't even I have no context why they're fighting I just know that there is something in between them mm-hmm. and like recently Katy Perry literally sent like a literal olive branch to her house like <laughs> oh. t- yeah so now they're back and I'm like oh I need more drama now what do I look for But I think Taylor Swift will give it to me. I believe in yeah. my Lord and Savior Taylor Swift. She will create more drama. And also the whole fight. Do you remember the whole fight between Taylor Swift and Kanye West? That, that whole, was, uh, I mean, there was, less, was of, less of a fight but, and more of a Kanye Dude. being, you know, no. the asshole. Oh, right? you don't yeah, know the like whole, so like that, The Beyonce okay. one, right? No, the yeah. award. The, yeah, the, the award. Beyonce yeah. one. Yeah. That's how it all started. And then What's uh, the Beyonce feud? Oh, okay. So okay. Uh, Taylor Swift was at an award ceremony, and she was yeah. receiving the award. While Kanye, when Kanye said, West came out and let you finish. Had the yeah. Best yeah. Album of all time. Yeah. yeah so that's how it started. Mm-hmm. And yeah. apparently, they, they were whatever. Taylor Swift was upset, but Kanye apologized, so they were fine. Okay. And then that whole thing happened where they were putting out Snapchats, and you know when Kanye wrote a song with her, and they showed. Yeah. What's that naked song when everyone's naked in the whole? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that whole thing started. Okay. And I'm just sometimes it makes me think why do we uh, why is it like a, why do we like love talking about pop culture feuds so much why do we like celebrities fighting and because it's two people fighting out in the open right and two popular that? people yeah two popular yeah. people I don't know I mean, you're seeing the the facade of um, of uh, bal- uh, control or balance is gone it's like oh hmm. this celeb also hmm. feels yeah. angry yeah. and jealous yeah and exactly disturbed yeah. by someone yeah, else's success life, yeah yeah, yeah like, like, like when yeah. you say rich and famous people fighting I'm like What's wrong in your life? <laughs> Little, yeah, because they look like they have it all together, but then there's like yeah, fighting about petty things. It's like human drama playing out. It's like mm. a reality show playing out in well reality, yeah. right? Yeah. So I was yeah. reading an article where which basically is about how what celebrity feuds can reveal about us mm. more than about Taylor Swift. Mm. Okay. okay. So the whole thing was about a lot of people like like talking about celebrity feuds because it's easier than talking about societal issues. Yeah, like there's true. so much happening. There's a literal <laughs> war happening, and you're yeah. like, you know, do, do you remember about Taylor Swift? Because it's just you know, there's no context. Nobody right. will hold it against you. Yeah. Oh, you like Raftar better than. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, if you look at it, Donald Trump essentially made a career out of it. <laughs> all bad mouthing uh, uh, Rosie O'Donnell and mm. this and mm. and that's what people voted for him with the mm. whole thing that he says it as it is. So. Yeah. I mean yeah Americans are obsessed with it and I think it has seeped into the Indian diaspora as yeah. well where yeah. uh, you know I mean Rakhi Sawant and Mika had that oh, whole thing yeah. when that yeah. Yeah. happened yeah. big boss is essentially made around <laughs> that entire <laughs> that uh, idea uh, that's of scripted, celebs that's it's scripted even, but even, still uh, they know people will tune in because it's famous people fighting yeah. amongst yeah. each other that's fighting. the idea that's basically the, that's WWE genre. with <laughs> with with, uh, with the minus the muscles and yeah, the yeah. you can't touch each other <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, dude, Indian Indian pop culture fights. Uh, I remember. So this Rakhi Sawant Mika is obviously yeah. the uh, the famous yeah. one. What else has happened? Apparently, in the nineties, I, I don't know. Uh, just uh, just yeah. like uh, so, I I know that they kissed. That's the only no, thing that I know. Mika like, forcefully whoa. kissed uh, yeah. Rakhi Sawant on her birthday, and that's what gave rise to the whole feud. Oh, yeah. So and, I I I remember a statement Rakhi said. Like, <clears throat> so he she was like, he whoever kisses me. 
hmm. becomes <laughs> ends up becoming popular. And yeah, because oh, a, a, a few, I think a year or so after that, Mika sang "Moja Hi Moja" for "Jab We Met," and oh, that became wow. a huge hit. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> so, so why do I feel so, like this is just not okay? Like I'm just disgusted by this fight. No, but apparently in the '90s, Sri Devi and Madhuri Dixit also did not like each other. Like whoever the top uh, yeah. uh, heroines yeah. were, and that's uh, also another thing is that when uh, uh, you know, because society being society, we tr- like to. pitch uh, women yeah. against each other they're like yeah. oh deepika and alia they must be like uh, enemies women or, can't be friends women can't be friends yeah. when in reality they might be everybody, good friends everybody yeah. knows about the sharukh salman thing also like yeah. i'm pretty sure every guy in bollywood who yeah. at the top also, also hates the other guys have you noticed guts. how most of these fights are between people who work in the same genre of things yeah. like rappers versus ra- one rapper versus another one a singer songwriter versus <laughs> another like it's like it's I mean uh, okay that's a, that's she's a, a genre different she's a genre, <laughs> she's a genre she's a genre breaking person yeah. but yeah so like Sri Devi and Madhuri oh, yeah. it's it's because it's because those are the two top people in that particular uh, genre or in that yeah, field they're competing right? against each other yeah so. oh god and is this all competition sometimes i feel like it's just i don't I know i mean in entertainment everybody's for themselves i'm sure in mm. let's say in cricket when sachin and saurav were at their peak yeah. you can't fight there because exactly. you're playing you're on, on the same side yeah. um so yeah but 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 i think when you're in a such a highly Pressure eye situation where it's about individuals. It is. It is about. Oh, you know, that being reminds me. Remember Harbhajan and uh, Shri Shant. Shri Shant. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, they got these guys got physical. Yeah, man, that was tough. Yeah. And the other thing that I feel ki uh, it's it's scripted. Is it scripted? Hmm. Like sometimes I I do feel that it's scripted. Maybe it is because I've also noticed it's like PR, yeah. yeah, all these feuds are no, not like bad for business. No or such anything. thing, uh, you know. As they say, no publicity yeah, is no bad. Yeah, no publicity is publicity. bad. Yeah, exactly. So now I think the fact that we have, uh, you know, if there is a feud, they will the TV channels, newspapers, internet will keep. Playing that on loop, yeah. I think the PR people take advantage. Yeah, of that. exactly. That's so, what. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't think it's bad for businesses in any way. Like if you, if someone, even if somebody brings you down and hurts, like abuses at you, yeah. it's good business. Yeah, you're, you're still getting, being talked yeah. about. I, I, yeah. I still, I, I notice this thing like Raftar is still following MEV. Yeah, and MEV is still following Raftar. Mm. <laughs> so what oh is it? Oh my god! I have a feeling they text each other good night every yeah. night. Hey Raftar, good night, buddy. How's it going? Just like every other politicians. <laughs> Um, All right. Yeah. This is this is not a talk about this is not a talk about pop culture feuds. So we don't have to discuss politics. <laughs> it it takes us yeah. It basically gives us a chance to not discuss yeah. real issues. <laughs> But uh, I mean, uh, when you talk about feuds, we think of rappers, right? Hmm. But in the '60s, even the rock bands of the, those oh, times, yeah. they had feuds amongst each other, like the Beatles and the Rolling Stone. Mm. There was always a competition of who's going to be on top, mm. and uh, it was it was really even in the '80s. Axel Rose the lead singer of Guns N' Roses mm-hmm. he's he's yeah. known for dissing Metallica and Bon Jovi and all the other yeah. rock bands on stage mm. so yeah i mean it's uh, it's always been there and yeah. uh, Yeah. Oh, did you hear about one pop culture feud that's happening currently? I know what you're talking about. Nick, is it? No, Nicky no, 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 no. Oh yeah, one? no, 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 <laughs> guys. This is a fight between PewDiePie and T Series. Yeah. In T Series. Yeah. yeah, they're not actually fighting, but they're competing for the most number of subscribers, subscribers on, YouTube. on YouTube. The top most account. Oh my, Indian, the Indian yeah, most Indian, Indian is T Series. Dude, yes. Yeah. Dude, oh you have no God. idea how many people listen to Guzzles, man. It's amazing. That's true. Yeah. And PewDiePie, and I, I don't know who won, but I think this was in the news, and people like. So, but what is PewDiePie doing to diss T series? They're not dissing each other. They're just like, like they're just competing for subscribers. So <laughs> I like, guess PewDiePie now, is making videos like just like taunting the whole thing. Yeah, I know he's yeah. made uh, the T series videos thing. taunting Indian oh, soap operas. That's true. Yeah. They've done for that. which Ekta Kapoor replied, and there was Ekta Kapoor and PewDiePie oh, oh, feud. Oh, there's a thing on uh, Google that says PewDiePie versus T series live real time. YouTube subscriber oh, count, man. so you can always yeah. stay updated. Okay, let's find out who's winning. I know the feud between Ekta Kapoor and PewDiePie. Yeah, I know that one. PewDiePie didn't even give a shit about yeah. Ekta Kapoor was saying, but then hey, so uh, who has? I'm sure PewDiePie has more subscribers. Oh, okay, what's your moment. guess? I'm uh, yet to find out. Yeah, PewDiePie. Yeah, but then again, India has is the second most populated country guess, in the world. Just remember. But it's YouTube. So, so what? We have Geo now. Everybody has Geo, <laughs> <laughs> but they banned porn. So. 
Oh okay, God, God, that's <laughs> a different crowd you have. Uh, in the eighties, there was a big feud between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, about definitely. Yeah, who's the top most action, action hero? hero yeah. yeah. What did you find? <laughs> yeah, I found it. Okay, who? What's your What's your bet? Uh, I said PewDiePie. 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 Yeah. yeah. What do you say? PewDiePie. PewDiePie. It's All right, PewDiePie. Right. <laughs> 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 by by how you. much though? By not a lot. Okay, so the, these are the fine numbers: six, eight, nine, one, two. Okay, they're so old. they're both at sixty-eight million. 68, yeah. yeah. Uh, T series. Uh, they're about just seven thousand subscribers. Uh, short. Yeah. Short. Yeah. 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 T series is. Hmm. Oh my god. Damn. That's close. <laughs> that is very close. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was talking about Sylvester and Arnold. Uh, uh, Arnold. Arnold. <laughs> Arnold. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone actually. Talked about this on the Tonight Show. So if, I guess yeah. If you like, check, uh, if you check on YouTube, Sylvester Arnold feud Tonight Show, he ta- talks about it, and then eventually how they became friends. Friends, yeah. And uh, every time he comes up with a movie, yeah. <laughs> so the when person. when Arnold made Commando, uh, when when Sylvester made Rambo, he made Commando and yeah, all of that. Yeah, exactly. So I remember Jimmy Fallon was trying to like hint at it, and he's like, "You had a feud," and and then Sylvester's like, "Yeah, yeah, no, not a feud. Like hatred is the, yeah. is the right <laughs> word." Oh wow, we, we hate each other. Those are each good other. friends, like really good now friends. Really yeah. good friends. Yeah, but hatred uh, yeah. is a good word. You can see them <laughs> dancing. You can see them dancing on each other's birthday. But that's yeah. why I feel like again this is. No, but I mean that. I mean considering it's been a decade. Have also. you seen Salman Khan and uh, Shah Rukh Khan <laughs> conveniently come together for the like still, before the release of the think, movie? Yeah, I still yeah. think they, How is they, that they hate each other's guts. They're just doing their show is. I mean, they're showing solidarity for publicity. Me ko nahi pata. I like this. This is confusing because you either tell me that you're not you're fighting and I have to pick a side because otherwise it's. it's okay, weird. I'm going to say something really. Uh, Kind of sexist here, but there's that whole cliche that women who hate each other when they see each other at a party, yeah. they're like, "Oh, so good to see you," and they go <laughs> hug and they show like their best friends. Is that is that does that happen? Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> so there don't are rest my kids and Shahrukh and Salman like, are also doing the same thing. Yeah, but that's oh okay. Yeah, yeah. they hate saying, each other, but when they have to shoot for to promote a movie, they'll do it because it 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 uh, it uh, benefits both of them. So in Tube Light, Salman was like, "Give me a movie, me aaja." कैमरा करेगा तो शाहरुख बोला कि मेरे जीरो में आके तू काम करेगा <laughs> 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 What do you see? She has Indian Indian roots. I want to check on yeah. this. A lot of googling today on yeah. IBM <laughs> likes. Uh, half Indian, as in from her mother's side or her father's side? I guess from her father's side. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah. She is a Trinidadian Trin- born. Hmm. Wait, I'm just googling this. Okay, Nicki Minaj is a Trinidadian born American rapper singer. She was born in Trinidad. Oh yeah. Hmm. Indo Trinidadian descent. Her father is someone called Robert Maraj. So I guess our father's father must have been Indian yeah. or something. Mm. Robert mm. Maraj, Nicki Minaj. You think Rakhi Sawant is taking notes from Nicki Minaj, <laughs> or Nicki Minaj is taking notes from Rakhi Sawant? Oh uh, God! Anything no. else to if, add to this? No, I think if somebody from pop culture has to rule the world, who would you choose? Rule the world? Yeah, I would, I would choose Rihanna. Okay. Eminem. Eminem, you. But you want someone to rule them listen, peacefully, right? Okay, listen, calm down. Just your favorite person. Right now, it's okay. <laughs> Go for Rule it. the world. Uh, Jay Z probably. Okay, yeah. Jay Z, yeah. Rihanna, and Raftar. No, yeah. I said I said I mean. You said I mean. Okay. Oh, wow. Raftar will take that as a compliment. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to vote for Eminem. I can't believe you said Eminem. Why? I'll just be. I don't know. I won't Didn't be. Didn't Rihanna have a bunch of feuds as well? Yeah, she did. But I think <laughs> so she why, can. Why is she, she can do a good world. job. She can do just. Of I ruling think. the world. Yeah. But Eminem wins it hands on. When it comes I to dissing no people, idea. I mean, it's all sure. about dissing people. I mean, it's about having a good content? a stable argument. Okay. <laughs> Bottom line is have feuds, guys, but don't like shoot each other. Uh, keep it peaceful. Write diss tracks. Yeah, uh, and release them, and uh, we will keep consuming and listening to it. Yeah. Uh, and whose turn is it now to reply? Raftar's turn. Uh, yeah. Other days, you think it'll ever get solved? Uh, you think it's Raftar and I guess, it's finally guess, building up to them collaborating on a single track and becoming. Or like, I, I guess uh, Raftar is just promoting MEV on a another level. I that's guess that's also true. Yeah. What about the other rappers, the Divines and the Nazis? Divine, they, they don't have a take on this. No, Divine is like 
Divine is okay with it, I guess. It wasn't that. <laughs> Like is there I, a, is I there, a, is there a Bombay it. camp and Delhi camp in the Oh uh, yeah they do have there is okay. there's, there's, there's like east coast and west coast okay. <laughs> <laughs> We have the west coast and the north coast Oh damn all right uh, so yeah. we will keep our ears and eyes out for this feud and see where it goes uh, what are your favorite pop culture feuds that you can think of I'm sure we've uh, missed a few so let us know Uh, also do write into us let us know how you like our show let us know if there's something we uh, should be talking about and we'll look, look into it you can reach out to us on our social media handles we are at ivm podcasts on twitter facebook and instagram you can follow us individually on social media as well my twitter handle is at abbas momin and uh, karthik where can one find you i'm grow up mohan at instagram and twitter and uh, surbhi i am on twitter you can follow me at small talk police All right so that was our show we shall see you next week on another episode of IBM likes till then goodbye bye bye look up in the internet it's a meme no it's a cat video no it's the geek fruit podcast that's right we interrupt this riveting broadcast to tell you about our show the geek fruit podcast where tejas dinkar and i jishnu talk about everything in pop culture including dc marvel star wars netflix and everything in between you know how your friends hate it when you ramble about some nerdy crap and you just want somebody to listen to you well sorry there's nothing we can do about that but come listen to us ramble and it'll almost be like the real thing kind of Listen to new episodes of the Geek Fruit podcast every Monday and the Geek Fruit Bulletin every Thursday on iTunes, Google Podcasts, the IVM app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Happy listening, you nerds. Do you have a night routine? Well, everyone has one, and the to-do list usually looks like this. Brush your teeth, set that alarm, get into your pajamas and switch off those screens. But here's one more to add to that list. Tune into the Positively Unlimited podcast for a dose of positive action and tips on how to build powerful mindsets. Episodes out every Monday on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com or wherever you tune into podcasts.